Uh, how does a student go about breaking into factual television? Um, I think that the best way for a student to break into factual television is to um, think about targeting themselves. So do your homework in terms of finding different production companies and what they do. The best way of doing that is look at the credits at the end of a programme that you like and see what production company makes it and then apply to that production company mentioning that you love this show that they make um, and show that you're not just blanket carpet bombing people with applications and would do anything. Find out the name of the person, the programmes that they make, act like you care about what it is that they do and you've got a much better chance. Uh, so, uh, what would a student have to do to actually get attention from television, television studios? So they've got an idea or they would say want to present? Um, I think it's, it's a very difficult one. Presenting I don't really know, to be honest. It's, uh, that's all a bit of a mystery to me. Um, largely because I'm not very interested in it. But um, I think in terms of getting noticed, I think it's getting in on the ground floor and making yourself as indis indispensable as you possibly can. Uh, what do you look for when you commission TV shows? Uh, like? Well, I don't commission TV shows, so I can give you an idea, but I think that what commissioners look for um, is probably is, is something that they feel fills a gap in the schedule, uh, something that works in terms of money which is very important you can't you can't forget that it's things have to be financially viable um, and things that they feel people will watch it seems simple um, it's finding that niche but it's finding it yeah okay so um what would a, what would an entry-level job be for a student in sort of your industry it would be runner or junior researcher um, and those two jobs will be different depending on what programme it is and what company it is. So in some cases a runner, being a runner can be quite a dull job, um, in other cases it can be very technical and quite absorbing, so it will very much depend on where you get the job. Uh, do you feel what students get overlooked when they're first sort of joining the industry? I think there's an awful lot of them um, and it can be quite difficult when faced with graduate CVs to really sort out who may or may not be right. I think that I think the idea of getting somebody as their first job and actually moulding them and teaching them the nuts and bolts of the industry is, is really, really attractive and I think most people who are employing runners and juniors would love to do that. It's just being able to get through the pure mass of CVs that there are. So um, how, how would you stand out? How would your CV stand out? Uh, would you show like show reels, that, that sort of thing? Do you know, now this is just me personally, other people like different things, but I prefer, uh, I prefer honesty and a CV not more than one side long, because mine's only two, and I've been doing this 20 years. So it's quite disconcerting to find somebody that's just come out of the university with a four-page CV. And, um, and to be very specific about what it is they want to do in this industry and not talk about how passionate they are about it, because I don't care about that.